What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Blades with Bill. Today we have a little unboxing. Now, technically, I did already open this, but it's the petrified fish. Beluga. Now, it comes with some extra body screws, some extra washers, a nice little, you know, mat to clean it, or cloth to clean it off with. Let's get this out of here. Take a look at the knife. I got the uh, stone wash blade with the green G mascus scales. I like the way that looks. PF for petrified fish. As you can see, it's a deep carry pocket clip. And the screws are pretty much flush. You really don't have any issues there. So it's pretty nice going in and out of the pocket. It's got a little bit of texture to it. It's not extremely, extremely smooth, but it's pretty close to just being smooth. It's a front flipper. Or of course you can do the use the fuller to do the oh. oh come on. Reverse flick. I swear. I know I can do it with this. And of course I stab myself in the other hand. Eh, let me get that hand out of there. There we go. But technically, there's two different sizes of this. There's one that's, I think, three and a quarter inches. This one's 2.99 inches for the blade length. With a width of 106, 1.06 inches. It's a flat ground drop point blade. Weighs... 3.37 ounces. Blade steel on this one is 14C28N. On the bigger one, it's K110, which from what I understand is basically D2, which is why I went with 14C28N version, because I prefer it as a steel. It's very easy to sharpen, takes a great edge, doesn't hold it as long as some things, but it's a whole lot cheaper than some of the ones that do. So it's a very good budget steel, and this comes in at fifty three ninety nine on Amazon. So it's pretty affordable, and for the price, can't really beat it. So got nice action as long as you know you get your finger right you can do that reverse flick real easy with it feels real good in the hand it's got plenty of size for my hand even though it's a smaller blade just under three inches there's enough handle that you feel like you can actually use it to do stuff. So, let's do a little size comparison up against the Rat Model 2 and Civivi Elementum. So as you can see, it's about the same size as those guys. Uh, up against the full si well, yeah, full size Boker Kalashnikov. It's got a little bit smaller blade. 
up against the Spiderco Salt 2 with a Wardenclyffe and LC28 LC200N steel, which is basically the same size as a Delica. For those of you that have a Delica, the handle on the Spiderco is a little bigger. And the blade's just a hair longer, but I think you might get a little more cutting edge on the Beluga. Spiderco Tenacious, lightweight. Spiderco PM2. The QSP Penguin and then of course one of the ones that so many people have Benchmade Bug Out which obviously the Bug Out's a little longer Penguin again a little longer handle on the Beluga and the Penguin are about the same but again blades are both longer on the other two so now the only thing I have an issue with the only downside to this knife that I can from what I can tell that front flipper is a little sharp if you don't catch it right when you're flipping it open if you slip off it's a little pointy, but other than that, it's not really an issue. Great knife, great action. It does have bearings. It does run on bearings from the factory. Like I said, they do give you some brass washers, though, in case you decide you want to throw those in there instead. Which is, for the price, that's a good deal. Factory Edge. I mean, it's just... It's got a nice edge. So, I definitely would say, if you haven't already, Check it out. It's a nice knife. I'll uh, give you a full review here soon. Just wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing. Like I said, I know I opened it before, but that was just so I could kind of check it out and make sure I talked about certain things. So, everybody, uh, if you uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again. Everybody stay safe. Have a good day.